So you can see for whatever reason, the angle that this route takes is very unique where it pulls back the safety, but it does not pull back the cornerback because it gets behind him. He's too far behind. Like I said, it's one of the best cornerbacks in the game. The champ is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the man. She's as always got a glitchy pass play for you guys today. Yesterday, I put out a run play scheme and a trick play scheme, really, uh, that, you know, I told you guys if you want to see a full breakdown or a pass play today, hit the like button in the comment section. Today's going to be the pass play. This is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. You guys know how I like to do that. That's typically how I put out my pass plays. But I still got more. So if you guys want to see more out of this offense, a full Woo! offensive breakdown, I probably have like eight plays out of this offense. Hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, we're in the Chiefs playbook uh like i said i showed you guys some super glitchy uh run plays yesterday i have a link in the description for that if you guys missed that uh but i'm trying to do more chief stuff this is a very good playbook and the play i'm going to show you guys today is a super explosive pass play that has a lot of different uh glitchy one play touchdowns in it and that's the double post in so let's go and let's pick that on the offensive side we're gonna get right into the video we're gonna start off with cover two like we always do although i'm not really in uh, a normal cover two let's go let's go with a normal two for five cover two we're gonna start with cover two and work way back like we always do now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and sports channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's guaranteed to always be the cheapest coins in the market. Or you can actually get 6% off. They're running a year-long uh, promo where you can use discount code EMAIL and get 6% off any of the products on their store. Now against cover two, we're gonna have to make a motion that we're not always gonna have to make, but you can really motion either one of these receivers. They're both on pretty much the same pattern. I find that this one works best, but all I'm gonna do is motion him across, put the A route on a streak. This is gonna be the way to go. You can also put the B route here on a drag. You can put them on anything. I find that shortening that route is probably best. As you can see, it takes that corner's attention, and then it basically lets me throw outside over the top. So very easy one play touchdown against cover two. As you can see, that's, uh, you know, the cornerback is preoccupied with that drag. I find that most of these plays are going to really be helpful to run from the hash mark to the open side of the field. Uh, and like I said, there's more than one option here when it comes to cover two. I can motion this guy across. It'll have the exact same effect. As long as I put the A route on a streak, it'll have the same effect. But you could also put the X route here on a fade and you'll see how because of what the A route is doing, uh, you can really have a lot of success out here on the opposite side of the field too. This is a play that really destroys cover two is the bottom line. So if you want to work that fade, you can do that could also throw to the tight end. I mean, there's a lot of different options here when it comes to cover two. Um, but ultimately, like, right here, I mean, if, they, if they don't press that tight end and get better, you know, better work on that tight end off the line, I mean, all three of these receivers are going to be open. Also going to be a very explosive play against cover three. So we're just going to pick that again on defense. We're just going to pick cover three sky, although it doesn't really matter if it's mad. Now, this play's got quite a setup. You want to motion across the tight end. Pretty much every play you're going to motion somebody and you're pretty much going to be running from the hash mark just about every single time too. I could leave that guy on a uh, on a on the route that he's on but ultimately putting him on a streak and then putting the x route on a slant is probably best although the x route you can put on a drag you can make him a check down you can do anything you want with him uh the running back on a block but the most important part is going to be the b route you're going to put him on a comeback route this is going to be uh what creates the one play touchdown against cover three just buy a little bit of time and then once this guy gets inside the safety you can see he's pretty much gone although there it's a little bit you need a little bit more timing to get up that seam but you can see because i'm running on the open side of the field because the safety is essentially uh, going to treat like a man coverage once he gets into his area. I can throw it at any point in time because there's no way that that cornerback can make a play. There's nothing with space as long as I bullet and pass lead it in time uh, before he gets too far across the field because the cornerback will come back into play. But from here, he's not. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, it's pretty easy to set up. You can do it all while the tight end's motioning. And then, like I said, it's really all about that wire out who's not a very good receiver. He might be part of the problem is he's kind of getting bumped around there, but you can see if you get that within timing, I mean, the guy's only a 9-2 speed receiver and he's getting gone against cover three pretty easily. This play can also have a lot of success against cover four, but we're going to do cover four uh, regular, not cover four match. As you, I'm not even really sure where they have a cover four in here, but let's go and let's find it right here. We've got the cover four drop. So this play here, once again, very different setup. Uh, I can do the motion again, although realistically, I don't have to really do anything because I, the, the, the tight end here really is just going to be best if he's left in a block. The B route here, I put in a drag, and then the X route here, I put on a streak, and that's pretty much it. The Y route here is going to be the route once again. I'll have a lot of extra blocking. You see, we've got one of the best cornerbacks in the game out here in JC Jackson, who's not on this team anymore. You see, he gets right over the top of it. I've shown this route against cover four in the past. You can see, for whatever reason, the angle that this route takes is very unique when it comes to cover four, where it pulls back 
back the safety, but it does not pull back the cornerback because it gets behind him. He's too far behind. Like I said, that's one of the best cornerbacks in the game, a superstar cornerback. And he, he does make a better reaction on it than most players. But you can see, I mean, I, if I could have got a little bit more of a pass, I probably would have had an easy one-play touchdown. Although there, I pretty much get tackled on the one. If it's easier to remember, you can do the exact same setup uh, as the cover three play. You can see this is the exact same setup, but the B route here has to be on either a smoke or a drag. The smoke's fine, but the drag is probably best because the drag will, number one, be able to check down, and number two, uh, it'll pull the cornerback in more, which is what I want because I'm really trying to get outside over the top of them. As you can see right here, it really does a much better job. So that's probably the full setup and definitely the easiest way to remember between cover three and cover four. So we'll do that again. Same setup with the tight end, although I might have accidentally did something there. No, I did not. So we're good. Like I said, same setup. Double drags. Good check down against pretty much any defense. Uh, I like to roll inside the pocket just to buy myself more time. Cornerback's out of play, and I got a huge one-play touchdown that time. As you can see, it's a very easy touchdown against cover three and cover four. So that's pretty much uh, every zone coverage with the exception of cover four match. We'll show that real quick before we get to our cover, our man coverages. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover four quarters. Now this play is a natural one play touchdown against cover course. I don't have to do anything. The Y route and even the X route are probably both going to be gone. Really it's just which one gets open first. Uh, but they're both going to beat uh, cover four quarters because cover four quarters, this, this place is perfectly designed as pretty much every uh, receiver is going to get open because cover four doesn't really handle crossing routes too well and it doesn't handle post routes very well. As you can see right here, both of these receivers are going to get open. But to just keep it simple, the Y route is going to be the read once again. So that's all the zone coverage. Let's go and let's do some man coverages. We'll start off with man cover two. When it comes to man coverage, uh, man cover two especially relies on pressing uh, the receivers to basically have success because they play down right in the receiver's face. So it's really going to be best. Uh, to, you'll do the exact same set that I was showing you guys previously when it comes to cover two. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, exact same um, you know, drag. I'll do my fade, I'll do my streaking tight end. And you're going to see how the wire out here can get open. As you can see here, the, 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 the drag definitely helps to get that receiver off that press. But it's going to be better if you do it a different way. The best way is going to be if the cornerback follows, if you know it's cover two, just basically motion snap it. As you can see right here, he's not going to get that press now, and he's going to get open to the sideline a lot easier than if you would let him get set, even with the drag receiver coming to the area. There is another setup that can have success against cover two without making any motions. If I put the Y route here on a fade, I put the A route on a block and release flat, and then I put the B route on a 10 yard out route, I can have uh, success against cover two, you'll see here in a minute. But this is kind of different because you're gonna have to double team this defensive end for this play to have success. Otherwise, the check and release will just let the defender come straight in. Uh, so that's something that you have to keep in mind. But you can see here how the middle of the field does get wide open for this play. So this is a one play touchdown against cover two. It's probably better, but it takes more of a setup and you have to basically set up your offensive line to block. So while this block and release is really glitchy, it, uh, it really messes with the um, the blocking of your offensive line. So you have to remember to double team this guy so that somebody blocks him. If you don't double team him, he just kind of lets him run straight past. Uh, and if you have a really good defensive player like we do there, it's going to be very hard. But you can see right here, like the, the, the safety just essentially fades away and just lets this guy go straight up the middle. So that's probably the hardest man coverage they don't want to play touchdown against. The easier ones are going to be the cover one hole. So let's go ahead and pick that. This one here, I mean, there's a lot of really good routes. I don't really have to make any adjustments. The Y route here is going to cross without any adjustments anyway. And you can see we can get a very big play. The tight end's a very good play. Um, there's a lot of really good options here. So against cover one, I mean, you really have a lot of options. Pretty much everything's going to work here. The tight end, once again, is a very big play. As you can see, he's going to get beat. He's beating a safety. Um, that's something that's going to be successful against just about any defense in the game. So that's it. That's the vid. As always, if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, more passing plays, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.